There's a lot going on in the kitchen today. We are making grilled shrimp with a peach mango salsa. And if you enjoy these videos, I hope that you'll subscribe. I post videos every Monday to get you ready for the week and every Friday to get you ready for the weekend. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications. Let's start with our shrimp. I have a pound of sh frozen shrimp that I thawed in the fridge and now I'm just going to drain it and rinse it. And it smells amazing. Your shrimp should have no mal odor whatsoever. When you stick your nose in there, it should smell like the ocean. And it does. It, it's like a day at the beach. Okay, so we're going to drain these. <clears throat> Give them a little rinse. Just let those sit for a bit. And I clean as I go because when I first started cooking, I was in a tiny little Manhattan apartment. So that was a good um, habit to get into. What we're going to do for the shrimp, put all this aside for a second. Um, we're going to create a little marinade for them. And then they're just going to sit in there while we make our salsa. We're going to start with the juice of a lime. And of course, I'm sure you remember that we always roll the lime before we cut it so that it gets nice and juicy inside. Okay. So you're going to just juice it right into a bowl. That went right in my eye. Oh! Okay. Oh, but it doesn't hurt. And it's... Mm, it smells good. Oh, okay. It does hurt. In case you're wondering, yeah. I'm just throwing things on the floor. Okay. Uh, what's next? We're going to put some shallots in the bowl. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Let's use, and I, I will put the whole recipe in the description. Um, I would tell it to you right now, but I'm making it up as I go along. So that would be a little tricky. Um, I'm going to use the bigger piece. And we're just going to slice it and dice it. So we'll just toss the shallots and I'm going to add some rosemary that I picked from my little potted garden out in the yard. Ooh. One thing about uh, shallots, they are tough on the eyeballs. Okay. Um, if you didn't see it, I posted a video of how I took some fresh vegetables and herbs right from my refrigerator and planted a little potted garden, container garden it's called, um, and these, this rosemary is from that. Okay, so we'll put that in the bowl and I'm just going to give it a little spin of olive oil that is less than a tablespoon and I think I want to add some garlic. But the main event is fresh ginger. Um, if you've never worked with fresh ginger, this is what a ginger root looks like. <sighs> there is no substitute. The stuff in the jars, the powdered ginger in the uh, spice section, I mean, it'll do. And I use that for like cookies. But for dishes like this, you want to use fresh ginger. And the way you use it is you peel it with a vegetable peeler. Or you could use a paring knife. Make sure you can see everything. And once you've peeled it, you can either just chop it. Or what I like to do is I use a ginger grater. 
um, which is a pretty handy thing to have in the kitchen. One more little piece there. This is a ginger grater. They're usually ceramic, um, and it's just got these little sharp nubs on it. And all you do is you rub the ginger on the nubs, and it breaks up, because there's a lot of fibers in a ginger root, it breaks up all the fiber, and grates the ginger. And you can see what I'm talking about. Can you see these hairs? There we go. Look at that. So we don't want that in our dish. And if you use a grater that takes care of that. Okay. So here I'm going to say we've got a teaspoon of ginger. And ginger and shrimp go so beautifully together. I feel like I'm standing on the coast of the ocean. Yay! All right. So we mix that up. And then we're just going to put our shrimp in here and coat it. Get your hands right in. You want to become intimate with your ingredients and it will make you a better cook and you'll enjoy cooking more. If you like cooking, this will make you enjoy cooking even more to really engage all your senses, mindful cooking. And if you don't like to cook, this might make you like it a little better. You never know. All right, so while these are marinating, uh, I'm just gonna set this aside and we're gonna start on the salsa. Okay, we're ready to make the peach mango salsa. You wanna end up with about a cup of fruit. So I'm gonna use half the peach and half of the mango. Voila. Um, do I wanna take the fuzz off? No, I do not. Because that's an extra step I'm just not interested in. Um, and I am going to chop this up in a mini food chopper. You can use a food processor or you can just chop it by hand like they did in the good old days. Throw that in there. Okay. There is much debate about the proper way to cut a mango. And the truth of the matter is there are several ways to cut a mango. Here's how I do it. Use a thin knife. I, in case you don't know, there's a fibrous pit in the middle of this, so you can't just cut through it. That's not going to work. You have to get around that fibrous pit. So I come down towards the center and then I bow out and come back down. And I do the same over here. All right. And then, and never do this in your hand because you will cut yourself. We're just going to make slits in the flesh. Going one way, and then we go across. And then we apply pressure. Look at that. Pops right up. And then you just cut these off. Now I'm going to take half of a red bell pepper and just cut this into chunks. All right, we're going to throw that in. This is not a spicy salsa because if you know anything about me and my family we are not caliente we just don't do it all right i'm going to now add two scallions that also came 
from my container garden that I grew from scallions I bought at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's right. Actually, right now I could show you a fun um, knife skill. If you cut really thinly and slowly on the diagonal, you wind up with little diamonds, which look great as a garnish. But we're not garnishing. Everything's going to get chopped up, so we're just going to do it to it. Then we're going to season with just a little salt and pepper. That's a pinch of salt. And two jiggity jigs of the pepper mill. A swizzle of olive oil. And the juice of another lime. And now we're going to take it for a spin. We're going to pulse. taste and make sure I'm gonna throw a little ginger in there yeah I am our shrimp have been marinating for about an hour and now we're gonna put them on skewers so we can grill them now you don't want to put the shrimp on a skewer like this because when you try to turn it it is virtually impossible. So what you want to do is line up two skewers and you're going to put two skewers through each shrimp. And you open them up a little bit so it looks like this. And then what you could do is you could just grab it with tongs, flip it over. It's much simpler. So here are our skewers. I'm going to grill these on medium heat until they become pink and opaque. If you don't have a grill, if you are an apartment dweller, um, you could do these on the stove. Absolutely. You could do this in a frying pan. Um, even without the skewers, just lay them in and turn them as they cook. Um, but I do have a grill and that is how I'm going to cook them. Mm -hmm. 